In this video series, we will look at some of the key terms you guys as technical recruiters may see on a daily basis. For example, in job descriptions and you still may not know what do these terms mean. So now I look at a term programming language. So here there is a job description for a senior engineer, senior software engineer. They write here, hey, we are looking for someone who will be able to determine appropriate programming languages and technologies, including uh, the use of agile methodology, write complex code and program to come, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so uh, the key term here is programming language. Programming languages uh, provide sets of instructions. Instructions from a developer, so say here is a developer, he wants to perform some action with hardware, but he cannot really access hardware you know, on a computer. He cannot really access uh, memory or printer just you know, in, a, in some straightforward way. He needs to use some sort of programming language. He needs to give these instructions in some way. Okay, so the instructions could be either through these low level, low level languages, such as assembly or machine code, but that would be extremely, extremely difficult. Uh, we talk about really difficult languages, uh, machine code, I will show you an example, um, but that's really difficult. So since um, developers cannot really talk to hardware, it is extremely difficult to use uh, low-level languages. So they usually, in most cases, we talk about say 99% of uh, developers, they use high-level languages that already provide some, some sort of an abstraction um, compared to low-level languages. So these high-level languages are, for example, PHP, or Java or JavaScript, like these are languages that you guys as recruiters hear about uh, on a daily basis, right? Hey, we are looking for a full stack developer. Like they are certainly not looking for someone who can um, write machine code or, or assembly language. Okay, so these languages provide, uh, provide some abstraction. And for example, Python is also a high level language. So why don't we look at some of the most popular languages and I can show you then what are the differences? How could we write some uh, example application, all right? We, we look at uh, the top programming languages right now, right? So here we can see, for example, that Python is uh, ranked as, uh, as the most popular, popular language. Uh, followed by C, Java, C++. Well, there are lots of uh, different um, comparisons. Uh, this is just one of many. What is actually more important here is the list of these languages. So you can see on this image here, uh, Java, C++, C Sharp, R language, um, JavaScript, Go, Swift, Ruby. Like these are the top 10 uh, languages, uh, programming languages. Um, but obviously, there are many more, uh, just some of the more obscure languages could be Erlang or Elixir, right? So, uh, so there are many, many high level languages, not that many low level languages. We talk about assembly, for example, or machine code. So uh, let me show you an example application. Hello World is usually used uh, as the very first uh, application when um, a new developer is uh, learning how to use a, a software a programming language. So the hello world is usually the first application, the first uh, um, code a developer writes in a particular language. Uh, so why don't I show you an example? So I have here uh, different languages such as uh, assembly language or machine code. C language, C sharp language. Um, you can see uh, the the hello world. For example, in C lang, it's um, relatively easy. A developer just needs to include uh, this standard library, some header file, standard io.h, and then he just prints hello world. So hello world is a text that usually appears in in a console or on on whatever front end is used uh, at the moment. 
C sharp language a little bit more complicated you can see here but still not not uh, difficult objective C relatively easy you can see here uh, you a developer writes a function main and then puts hello world return zero that's it go language relatively simple java language is a little more complicated because you need to create a class uh, with the name hello world app and then a function inside the class public static void main function which will output into system system output a line so print learner stands for print line hello world so this will be the output PHP language you can see is the most uh, uh, popular language for building backend uh, websites I mean um, website uh, backend of websites sorry and you can see here how easy it is to write hello world you just echo hello world and that's it so this is this is uh, you know the level of abstraction you don't really need to care how does it echo because that's what the programming language uh, takes care of however looking at uh, machine code just to write hello world you wow just look at this right you need to really write all these uh, lines of code you know moving whatever um, I don't even understand this code this is just so so difficult to understand similarly with uh, assembly language uh, not really easy to understand not really straightforward as you can see written here you will find assembly in operating systems and 3d game engines where performance matters a lot um, I'm, I'm not saying that performance doesn't matter in other applications uh, you know websites or backend applications but the, the trade-off would be would be really significant like you, you wouldn't use uh, assembly language on a web application because that just doesn't doesn't really make sense all right so I, I wanted to show you guys uh, what program languages are um, you know, what are the most popular languages what are the differences between low level and high level language uh, I, I wanted to highlight that majority the vast majority of developers use high level program languages so as soon as you need to find someone who can write assembly language well that may not be an easy task uh, there are not many developers uh, out there who are really keen to work uh, with this sort of uh, program languages well having said that I, uh, I I want to get back to the job description here the task was to determine appropriate program languages and technologies so usually the task of a senior software engineer is to be able to to pick some of those languages and uh, you know there are many languages um, uh, not just PHP Java and JavaScript there is uh, you know Golang uh, there are we just looked at uh, the, the list of languages and that's uh, just the tip of an iceberg so uh, a senior software engineer should be able to pick some of those languages some of them are great for web applications some of the program languages are great for uh, for games uh, some of the applications uh, sorry some of the program languages are great for mobile applications so uh, a senior software engineer needs to be able to uh, to pick uh, the right programming language based on his experience based on the trends based on uh, the, the performance based on requirements etc etc so with that uh, let me wrap it up i hope uh, by now it's clear if not please go ahead and ask me questions below this video and also encourage you to share this video on your favorite social media platform please go ahead and subscribe uh, to our channel on youtube because uh, we like uh, to help you as a recruiter to get really great at recruitment.